What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and for a long time we've been wondering what is going on with AEW games? Is AEW Fight Forever finished and will we ever get another one? Today we get an answer to those questions and some people might look at this as good news, others might look at it as bad news. Either way, we gotta talk about it. Make sure you don't forget to drop a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, especially if you don't wanna miss any updates on your favorite wrestling games. Now let's get into it. Man, man, boy, they coming now. All right, so this article is from Mike Straw and it was dropped on Insider Gaming. We're gonna pull a few quotes from here so we can talk about what's going on and I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can come check it out. So he starts this thing off by saying, the future of AEW video games currently hangs in the balance. Multiple sources have told me that the decision makers at AEW are strongly considering finding a new development partner moving forward. Now this might sound like good news to a lot of people, but y'all gotta understand. It takes a long time to develop a video game, especially in 2024. We look at what happened to WWE in 2019 when they dropped that monstrosity with 2K20. We didn't get another WWE game in 2020. We didn't get another WWE game in 2021. It took them up until 2022 to finally release another game, but even then, they had an engine to build on top of. And yes, AEW has their own engine at this point as well, but 2K had the advantage of working with Ukes who built that engine before it was passed over so they already had the foundation laid and all they had to do was build on top of it. So if AEW does find a new developer and they end up putting this engine in their hands then we could run into another situation like we have with WWE 2K20 and that's what we don't want. But on the other hand a new developer could build a new engine from scratch would take more time but even in that case we are delving into the unknown so it could be really good or it could be really bad. Now we're looking at a first AEW game all over again. Personally, I think AEW Fight Forever was a great foundation to build on top of, so I'm hoping they can figure things out with Ukes because I think with the second game, they can come up with something special. But after reading this article, that sounds like an unlikely scenario because it continues on. AEW knows that things didn't go the way they expected, one source says. The game was over budget and it under delivered when it came out. It has AEW strongly considering moving forward with a new developer for their games. I don't think they would ever flat out admit it, but you could tell they weren't happy with the way things were turning out. Kenny Omega went on Swerve Strickland's podcast before the game was even released and he sound bummed out about it to the point where he kind of stopped promoting it altogether. Kenny Omega was no longer the face of AEW Fight Forever by the time the game was released. Evil Uno fully took the reins and he pretty much did that whole rollout. So you could tell something was going on because when it was first introduced, Kenny Omega was on the front lines and by the end, he was just gone. So I mean, that was the first indication really that they weren't happy with how the game turned out. So where are we now? I see some people on X still asking Tony Khan if we're going to be getting updates for AEW Fight Forever. Here is your answer to that question. Now, AEW is trying to figure out where to go with their games. The original contract with Ukes called for one year of post-launch updates, which came in the form of four season passes. Some people got mad when I said AEW Fight Forever was finished after that last DLC update, but lesson for the future. Whenever they release that Ultimate Edition, that usually means the game is content complete. But let's go ahead and move on to the next thing I want to point out here. So Insider Gaming was also told that everything is on the table. There were some positives with the Ukes relationship and some feel that with the foundation in place, another game could make things better rather than just giving up after one attempt. And you know what? As stated earlier, I think they did build a great foundation with AEW Fight Forever. Just imagine if WWE did end up giving up on 2K after 2K20. I think the 2K games are ultimately pretty good right now, even though they can be a lot better. If they went with EA, we would have been starting from scratch, and who knows what we would have been getting today. 
yikes. Now this next part is really what kind of leads me to believe that they will be moving away from Ukes because we know Kenny Omega is kind of like AEW's game guy and he was at the head of this thing trying to make this game as good as possible. So there were issues from the start. Issues with Ukes and AEW date back to before AEW Fight Forever was even released. There was a lot of butting heads between both sides including AEW Vice President Kenny Omega. At one point, I was told Omega was frustrated to the point of hating working with Ukes, while others felt that Ukes was trying to take advantage of Omega due to his inexperience around helping with game development. Now listen, I understand Kenny Omega's love for video games. I love video games too, but I am not going to head into a video game studio and try to tell them how to make their game. I'm sure in this case, they're like, yo, listen, Kenny Omega, we do this. We made all of these wrestling games before. We know what we're doing over here. We don't really want to do what you guys are telling us to do. Apparently, it was Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks decision to put the mini games in. Not a great idea. And I know some people love the mini games, but I just feel like this game was so shy on content, those resources could have been better spent somewhere else. Now there is a lot of good information in this article regarding AEW Fight Forever and the future of where things are going, but it's brand new, so I don't wanna touch on everything. Y'all gotta come read it yourself. But the last thing I do wanna point out here is this. AEW owns the engine used for Fight Forever and they can bring that to a new developer if they wanted to build on top of what was made. I think that's the best case scenario, but again, I don't know how a new developer would be able to utilize it and if they would understand the code and everything. I always say it, I'm not a game developer, I can't tell you 100% how these things work, but that would be best case scenario. It continues on to say, it's unlikely that after Fight Forever went well over budget and didn't turn a profit, the company would look to have another game built from scratch, but that comes down to the kind of deal made with the new partner. Now they got this new TV deal coming up with WB Games and we still don't know what's included with that. Apparently the pay-per-views are supposed to be going to HBO Max. Again, that has not been confirmed, but you would think with WB having such a big game division, they're responsible for Mortal Kombat, uh, Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy that came out, biggest game of last year, and the Batman Arkham games of the past. And apparently we're supposed to be getting another one of those, so I'm really hoping that happens. But WB Games has a lot of great game studios. They put out a lot of great games so if they pick up AEW games I think they could really give us something great and it's a bit selfish but I'm sponsored by WB games now so if they make it it'll be a big win for me but what do y'all want to see should EA Sports make the next AEW game would y'all like to see these AEW wrestlers in the frostbite engine should it be Ukes again I think that would be Probably best case scenario because we would get the game faster and they can build on top of what they did with AEW Fight Forever since they're already familiar with this engine. I think they could give us something really good. Or would y'all like to see another team do it? Give me a list in the comment section. Again, I don't want to break down this article too much just because it is um, spanking brand new. But I will be back to talk more about this in a few days. And during that video, I will be reading some of y'all's suggestions in the comment section. But thank y'all for tuning in into this video don't forget to drop a like on it and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already bomb squad let's get to that